let's take you on a quick tour of some of the highlights of this year's Sculpture in the Garden show. Dustin Gimbel began as a avid gardener and it makes sense that his ceramic work is customized for the Bancroft Garden. Cindy Landis brings Bancroft work that is cheerful and often rather playful too. In fact, her piece called Coco Pele is, seems to be tooting her horn. Clayton Thiel has taught ceramic sculpture for years. Perhaps that's the reason that his work is so large and so precise and very full of emotion. Catherine Daly is as popular in California galleries as she is with her students. And the work that she brings to Bancroft really shimmers in the wind and glows in the sun. David Mudgett has shown in Bancroft longer than any other sculptor. He's a master of steel craftsmanship as well as a champion for other sculptors. If you matched his contributions to the Bancroft Garden with his insect-inspired sculptures, you might just call him Spider-Man. Joe Bologna likes to give materials a second chance in life. When he found a discarded set of exhaust headers from a car engine, he turned them vertical and put them on a concrete pedestal and celebrated the fact that they seemed pretty organic. Emilianos has very carefully crafted his ceramic stoneware and brought it to a garden where it appears as though it was grown here. Henriette Ponte is the master of the totem her work is colorful, well-crafted, very popular, and the Bancroft Garden is delighted to have it in the garden. Jeff Key may be the most organic sculptor in the garden. One might even imagine that some of his work was grown here. Judy Miller is highly regarded for her abstract storytelling in clay, and the work that she brought to Bancroft this year is rather hip. Karina Kurimova is an accomplished ceramic sculptor, as witnessed by her work capturing the essence of the human figure and the emotions of the human song. Leslie Safarik is known throughout California for her very colorful and playful ceramic work. She's back again, and it's no wonder that her woman number two is placed at the entrance of the garden because it is so darn welcoming. Jean Miho has packed lots of emotion, sensitivity, and humor into her ceramic mosaic sculptures of the animals we love the most. Stan Hunselman is widely acclaimed in California for his colorful reuse of materials that came out of industry. You might say that he's a big wheel in this garden. We've seen Jeff Owens work in Bancroft Gardens in the past and it's been very formal and straight and rigid. But this year he's brought us a piece that's just kind of curvy-wurvy. Diana Marquesinus returns to Bancroft this year and continues to carve her stories out of steel and copper, followed by a little splash of paint. Marguerite Elliott has combined pieces of steel that come from different places and times for a wonderful and very playful figure. It even includes pieces of rock that she's collected from all over the world. There are not a lot of artists who can put such energy and vitality into some material as plain as concrete as John King does. He tells stories using texture, color, and bits of other materials like ceramic in order to compose his work, and it really stands out. It can be argued that Ernest and Lois Rich are the premier blacksmiths and now coppersmiths in the Bay Area, and what they've brought to Bancroft will just shine for a long time. Luke Heiminger is new to Bancroft and brings us a piece that is perfectly organic and ideally suited for the theme in Bancroft Garden. Steen Curley brings Bancroft a very lifelike and extremely humorous depiction of one of our favorite members of the animal kingdom. If you look at Flavia Krasilic's work, you quickly understand that she's a very creative person with an almost childlike imagination. 
and the happiness of her soul is embodied in the smiles on some of the pieces that she makes, such as the birds that she brought to Bancroft. We hope to see you at Sculpture in the Garden this year. It is a very high quality art show staged in an incredible garden. The dates are June 25th through August 29th, and we hope to see you there.